Hello, my creative friends. We did have a massive bug do a nosedive and another little one over here. In saying that, let's have a look at the finish of the Montmartre Mart pouring um, paints. You can see that we've got a big load of cracking here and the paint's really not too thick on there like it's um i mean luckily we've got the gold coming up through it so it does look nice nonetheless i wasn't expecting that level of cracking at all i mean we all know that that's quite unusual with the way that we um use flow troll and other pouring mediums so um unexpected and yeah okay that's enough on that in the middle here it's still a little bit wet but up here it's completely dry completely dry and we've got a nice satin finish nothing glossy but it is a nice satin finish and I can say the gold is very gorgeous the way that it's shimmering and shining um, and that's about all I've got to report on this first part of the experiment. We'll get you back in focus. That's not nice. So what I'm going to do now is um, get a little bit of the paint out, add some silicone, and we'll do a flip cup and a swipe, just probably exactly the same as what we did in this first uh, test run, and see how this pre-made pouring paint behaves with the silicon i really was hoping for a lot more action um to be truthful considering that it claims that the um pouring medium is you know good for fluid art pouring medium isn't about just having a product that can thin paints down you know thick impastos it's about helping us um, manipulate to get nice effects but nonetheless this paint has been made with that and this is what we're getting so far I'm not that crash hot on using silicon these days um, just based on the extra work we need to do to finish our canvases off and I like to use resin for a lot of my work so it is a test run though and we do want to see how it behaves so let's get on to doing that now and um, I'm really interested about your experiences with Montmartre or what you think just through watching these test runs. So do add them in the comments. Here we are. Our little 8x10 ready to go. Our nice little cups. Four, one for each colour. And the silicon that I'm going to use today is one that we commonly use in Australia, coconut milk, and we know that this works really well. So I'll give these a little bit more of a shake and again we can have a look at that consistency. Coming out, that was the gold. And here comes the light blue. And here comes the ultramarine blue. And here comes the turquoise. And you know, it was only just the tiniest quarter of a cup, so we'll hardly use any. But let's just have a closer look at this consistency, shall we? This is it. Oh, the wind's blowing. See that? You can see that um, it's probably a little bit thinner than most of us expect. That's okay. That's okay. It's nothing good or bad. It's as we know and as we do more and more experiments, we know that there's no such thing as the perfect consistency. There are consistencies that are better for certain outcomes. One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Um, but certainly, they all, all consistencies offer something terrific, depending on what your outcome, your desired outcome is. Might have added a bit too much silicon in there, but 
That's all right because we want to see how it interacts with the paint. Got a drizzle of it across there. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right, flip cop. Ultramarine. Turquoise. Light blue. Gold. Ultramarine. Sorry, little cup that you only got to be used for this test run. Freezing. I don't know what the temperature is. I reckon it's like oh, it's um 11 degrees, 11 degrees, and it's about about 3 p.m. Don't know why I'm doing this. I must be moving into experimental mode. Um, do make sure you have a look at the first video. We've got some interesting conversations going on about the Montmartre. Certainly, um, I do think it's got potential for those new to pouring or wanting to just see whether or not they enjoy the pouring journey. But my friend Tony hit it on the head when she said, you know, she doesn't know what's in it. Um, she feels like she's lost control of the whole outcome. Look at that. That's from where the silicon line was. It won't even grip there. The paint won't grip at all. That's interesting. Um, and you know, she's what, like what I was saying yesterday, that whole idea of part of the pleasure I have with our pouring is simply the mixing, creating the experimental component. And this is just... I guess like packet mix cake you whack it in and it's done and it's sort of all over before you know it because you didn't have your mixing up the paints part which is fine because a lot of people like making cakes and making it out of the packet versus making it from scratch so it will certainly um, serve a role and in terms of the color vibrancy the colors were beautiful and that gold was gorgeous and let's flip this flip cup out now. Let's have a look in the cup as usual. Quite nice. But I'm actually astonished to not see cells that we... Oh, I can't work out where to put my cup down. Cells, you know, the cells that we're used to seeing not form. Now, whether or not that's because there's no titanium white, I've got to say it can't be because of that because we know that we can make cells without titanium white coming through. Whoops. There are some cells. Let's get our torch. Let's just do this. Oh, yeah. They certainly are there. Very good. That's about all we'll do. We'll let them, um, we'll see how they go as a stretch. They're in fact quite nice cells just from that flicking. Great, nice little shape. Um, you could over torch really, really quickly. There's certain people that I know who hate the caterpillar um, effect. I actually really like it, think it's cute. I'm going to whisper this, even though sometimes it can look a bit phallic. Shh, don't tell anyone. Anyway, but these ones here, I love the um, triangular cells. You know those ones here? Oh, maybe I should take you down so you can see them. I've always been a big fan of... Get off, there we go. I've always been a big fan of the triangular cells. And as you can see, they're not huge cells. Like there's my fingernail. Is a long nail at the moment. There's our classic round cells coming up. Um, and here's some of the caterpillar cells. And so it certainly responded 
to the silicone. Oh, I can hear my voice getting all cold. So I'll put the put you back up on the tripod and then I'll tilt this and then we'll swipe I it, all right? I'm so annoyed at myself because I thought it was on and it wasn't. What I did was I got gold straight out of the container and put it on top so it's swiped with gold that's got no silicon in it which is good because we normally don't swipe our swiping color normally doesn't have silicon in it oh, it's hard to get off your hands like my hands got quite a tint in it and I've got I haven't torched it or anything like the cells are just wanting to come up I'm actually inclined just to put a, a blue over there and just show you how the swipe went. So, because I'm that way inclined, I will. So I'm putting the ultramarine over. And I'm just gonna blow that so it's even. And now we'll swipe again. There we go. So we've got cells coming up straight away and the same type. Oh, it's not quite in your view. There, right on that edging there. Lots of cells coming up and all here. I really want to um, get my torch onto it, but I know that even in these moments that I'm talking, more and more are emerging. So I think I will torch just one side and then leave the other side to emerge on its own and that can, um, sort of inform us how it behaves too. I'm going to torch here where nothing's come up just so that we can see what's going on. And I'm just going to literally do the, the dabble one like that. Ready? Oh no, I'm not I'm gonna run it up and down now. And I'm really so not that impressed. The, oh, hang on, that's better. All right, so where that, that's about it where this line is on this side where the cells are coming up have been torched up oh I just really want to go on that other side all right I'm just going to one little line here that's it and I'll leave that part there organic to develop on its own and yes with silicon we can see that it does promote cells they're a particular type of cell i think that probably for me to test this further i would need to do an experiment on a bigger canvas and um, allow a flip cup to settle longer and then for me to do the tilting um, but at this point I can tell you that silicon does work. You're getting the different types of cells and now I'm just repeating myself. Would you like to come down and have a look? Yes, there you go. All right, so what's the plan with this bit of experiment that we've got going on? The plan is, is that tomorrow, we'll let this dry and I'll cover it so we don't get flying insects like yesterday's experiment um, the plan is is that tomorrow I will do an experiment on a 20 by 16 size canvas I'll be using different colored paints um, because I don't think I've got enough left of this what I've got here um, to cover a 16 by 20 no I don't um, so I'll nick out and grab one more set. Ew, look. I've got it on my top. Can you see? Oh, fair dinkum. You know, far out Brussels sprout. Well, it's looking nice, but we do want to see how it dries. And I think I'm just rambling on now because you know I love a ramble. All right, so I'll... I'll 
edit this up and post it up so that then tomorrow you can see this in its drying process and then I'll do the experiment on the larger scale, see how it behaves. Um, I will be adding silicon to it because, well, because I'm just going to be. And um, we'll just keep pushing it and see how these paints go. But that will probably be it from me because I enjoy making my paints up too much on my own to um, keep investing in this product. It's been fun and I do believe those who are starting out will really find it great.